Welcome to the Dr. UUT channel. In the last videos, we discussed the basics of chemistry and the same videos also regarding the basics of chemistry. This video is available in Urdu and now we will record the video in English. Ha, we will clear in this video what is matter, what is pure substance, mixture, elements and compounds and uh, etc. With examples, that's why I called etc. Okay, what is matter? How would we define the matter? Anything that occupies space and has mass is known as matter. Example, the mark. Occupies space and it has mass. The same is the case with the chemicals. Like oxygen, like chemicals, they do have mass. But when we go in depth, like elements, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, etc. Every single element has a mass and occupies space. So we also put them in the category of matter. And uh, elements, what elements? Uh, just I pronounced a movement earlier, like hydrogen, oxygen. They are actually the simplest form of the matters. Okay? Now we'll define it later on. Later on, we'll define. Now what is pure substance? Then we'll go for the mixtures. Pure substance is the word indicates pure. And substance. Pure means very pure. Where there is nothing any other that makes it impure. A single thing or a single constituent which is having specific chemical and physical properties regarding if you talk about chemistry. In chemistry we call a pure substance to that substance which has specific properties, specific characteristics. Means if we talk about physical properties or chemical properties that if are specific then we put that compound, that thing or that element in a category of pure substance. So pure substances are of two types, elements and compounds. What are elements? The complete periodic table, which contains a number of elements, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphorus, aluminum, zinc, etc. These are called elements. Then these elements are further divided into one, two, three types. Why? Because of their characteristics. Some which are able to pass the uh, current or heat, electricity, etc. If we talk about the uh, current, some which are able to pass the current, they were put in the category of metals and those who are not able to pass the current, they were put in the category of non-metals and those which are in between the metals and non-metals were, were put in the category of metalloids and we put that, we put them in the category of metalloids. So this is the reason that elements are further divided into three types because of what? Because of specific characteristics. Uh, just to give you the example of it current that when something was able to pass the current that was put in the category of metal and those who are not able to pass the current and we put them in the category of non-metals and those who are in between we call metalloids and then what are compounds compound you know compound is actually the word if you understand the word you will get the definition compound is actually the combination of two three four things etc if you talk about chemistry so compound uh, what is compound? It is actually the combination of elements. Here I have given the example of water, H2O. One, two, three elements, when they combine together, they make a different thing. Now is water. Here, two hydrogens and one oxygen. When they combine, they form the water. Now this water is having the properties different from the hydrogen and oxygen that formed. Now this compound is actually, it was water. Now why this is given the name compound, this is given, these are elements in compound, they have got a very single difference. Elements are allowed, compounds are in combined form. That's the very difference. Then, why this is also pure substance and this is also pure substance. If you talk about an element or a compound. Element, like hydrogen, it has specific melting point, boiling point, freezing point, etc. And if you talk about the compound, like water, it has also got specific melting point physical uh, physical characteristics and uh, chemical characteristics so that's why these are also called these are called pure substances and uh, elements are also called pure substances 
Then what is the difference that they both have got specific uh, characteristics and uh, same characteristics because of which they are called pure? Then why don't we put compounds in the elements? The reason is that because compounds like water, it has got uh, the properties that are very different. But the, these properties are specific for water. Means water as a whole has got freezing point, boiling point, melting point, means physical and chemical properties in short if I say. These are having specific physical and chemical properties. Now, what is the difference from elements? The difference is that because properties of the properties of these compounds they are different from the individual. Now, hydrogen before suppose if it was having one degree centigrade freezing point or melting point, now if it is in com uh, combination with the water, it is not going to show its own characteristics here. Now, it will show a combined characteristic of oxygen and hydrogen as a whole. Before oxygen was having characteristic like one degree or some half two degrees uh, freezing point but when it is in the form of uh, combined form in a compound form oxygen and hydrogen with their combined now before it was having one or two degree now it is going to have four or five degrees the reason is that because of it is compound form before it was also having specific characteristics now in compound form this compound also has specific characteristics that's why we call element as a pure substance and compound also as a pure substance so, both the compounds and elements are considered as pure substance. Then, mixture. What is mixture? Mixture is the combination of uh, different elements. Then, how we will differentiate the mixture from the compounds? Here, in the compounds, all the elements, when they combine together, they will show specific characteristics. But in the mixtures, Every single element is again showing its own characteristic, but in combined form, they are available. Example, now of air. Air is a mixture of gases. Here, they retain individual characteristics. This is the only point that will make you understand. Nitrogen is present in the air, oxygen is present in the air, carbon dioxide is present in the air, and etc. Gases are present in the air. And every gas is having its own properties. Okay? And uh, specific properties are present means they have retained the properties though they are in combination form but everyone has retained his, his own single and specific properties that's why the mixtures are different from the compounds or from the pure substances here everyone is showing its properties and whereas in pure substance they combine together they make their own properties and elements as a single is having its own properties it is single that's why it's called element here they are combined and showing single properties uh, single type of properties, specific properties, that's why they are given the name compounds and here in the mixtures, every single element is showing its own properties when they are combined, they are mixed. A mixture of cases and every case shows specific properties is mixture and when mixture of elements are there or if you take the cases hydrogen and oxygen, when you fuse them together, you make water and then this water is going to have its own unique properties different from that of hydrogen and oxygen. That's why they are given the name compounds. Hope so you got the differences among these terms like compounds, elements and mixtures. Thank you.